All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm uh, delighted to join this crew. Uh, I run uh, digital and platform engineering for EY. Um, first of all, thank you for uh, CNCF and Linux Foundations for this amazing opportunity to sort of present in front of this uh, tech community. Uh, primary objective is to make sure that you guys understand EY is in tech, right? We are beyond an audit firm. That's one thing we sort of wanted to bust that bubble. Second is uh, I have a couple of clients here in the audience and my team and uh, colleagues who are uh, somewhere here. So thanks for joining. So in the world of Gen AI, right, we are talking about modern tech. Digital sort of feels like legacy already, right? With 50 shades of gray across various you know, avatars running around in, in different organizations. Uh, for us, what that really means is anything open source, cloud native, uh, full stack engineering is sort of considered digital for us, right? And platform engineering is, a, is an integral part of it. So while this is a whole gamut of things to sort of, uh, you know, in that remit, right? It's very difficult to unpack all of it in a few minutes. So I'll try to do my best in terms of at least focusing on a couple of uh, really complex case studies where we have helped very large clients across the globe in steering through and navigating and helping them in terms of transforming, right? So the first one that comes to mind, and obviously all these sort of come back and feed into the whole democratization aspect of it for software, right? That's the underlying aspect of it. So the first one is on the financial services side, uh, on the commercial banking space, right? It's one of the most complex uh, in terms of processes. Uh, syndicated lending uh, is a use case. As you know, syndicated lending is one of the most antiquated processes in the industry with a very fractured technology framework, right? Very isolated. So if I were to just maybe spend 15 seconds to talk about the actual real world scenario, there are, if you imagine a very large commercial entity who's looking to raise capital, right, for business expansion or what have you. So what they do is they typically go to a financial institution to raise that, right? And one financial institution like a large bank will not have the enough uh, support mechanism to sort of uh, go through with that request. So what they do is they pull in a syndication, a syndication of all the other banks in this case, right? So let's say uh, JP Morgan, Bank of America, a couple of those organizations come together and form a loan syndication. So there in itself lies the complexity because you've got multiple entities running on this. Now, if I were to put a technology lens to it, right? So all the deal terms, the covenants, the facilities, the owners, the co-owners, the signers, and all the parent companies associated with this, multiple entities, this scenario gets complex really, really fast, right? So how do you build a platform to sort of enable this end-to-end, -end, right? So 18 months into the, into the whole game, so they have formed the four largest banks in the world, have formed a consortium. They have invited EY to ideate, to design, to architect, and engineer an end-to-end -end platform in this scenario, right? So if you look up uh, Versana as a platform on the Wall Street, so syndicated lending market is upwards of about $4 trillion with the T uh, in, the, in the actual marketplace. And then uh, four of the largest banks hold 60% of the market share. So we have built that platform, we have launched it, and all the agents' banks are on it, lenders are on it, and all the commercial businesses are on it, right? So if you were to apply that lens and look at any of the modernization journeys that you're going through with your clients, right, this thing pretty much checks all the boxes, from cloud nativity to modularity to you know, API-driven economy to we have also worked with fintechs in the back end for an ecosystem build out for smart contracts and uh, distributed ledger. So it, it has all the open source needs that fundamentally fuels this, right? So it goes back to the decentralization of innovation on trust, right? This is essentially the underpinning aspect of what Linux Foundation talks about, right? So these are some of the aspects that we've been doing in the market. The second one on the far right of the spectrum, I'll take maybe another half a minute, is uh, on the retail and storefronts, right? We've been working with one of the largest uh, storefronts in the US. Uh, just to give you some data points, uh, they run about uh, 1,000 storefronts across the, across the country. Uh, the best data point to kind of relate to is uh, they sell about half a million coffee cups every day, or cups of coffee, uh, and about a million, uh, I would say, cold beverages every day, and uh, about $100 million of transactions at their ATMs and fuels and all of that, right? So how do you build in an end-to-end -end customer experience for such a large organization, right? 
So we built commerce tools on AWS, the underpinning you know, uh, orchestration plus uh, deployment automation on Kubernetes, and then uh, all of this obviously runs on open source stack, right? So essentially, these are some of the very few highlights, just as a preview. Uh, I think that's sort of my segment for today. We have a booth right outside, and, and my team is going to be manning that. If you guys have any questions, any follow-ups, and you're interested in talking through this, we'll be happy to sort of uh, support that. So thanks again. Have a great day. Cheers.